what is your relationship with umpires, at least back in the day, uh, when it came to you know calling balls and strikes and kind of setting that structure before a game? Well, you know, my my relationship with umpires pretty well deteriorated when Quest Tech came in. Yeah. And they combine and they combine the leagues. Uh, the the problem that I had with the umpiring was I was raised in a different system. You had American League umpires and National League umpires. And I was taught be respectful, you don't ever turn around on them. Um, you know, you speak to them a certain way, there's certain phrases that you can use and certain phrases that you cannot use. Um, it's the old, you know, you could, you could, you know, I, don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to use foul language. Oh, totally. By all means. But, you, know, you go back to the movie Bull Durham, and there were never true words spoken that, you know, Crash gets ejected from the game for calling the umpire a cocksucker. Yeah. And you, the, 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 the sentences leading up to that are, uh, that's a cocksucking call. You can't run me for that. That's a cocksucking call. You can't run me for that. Do you want me to call you a cocksucker? Because I will. Yeah. You want me to call you a cocksucker? Beg. Pretty please beg. You're a cocksucker. And he throws him out of the free game, right? Right. So that's the way it used to be. I used to be able to say, what, you know, once I got my feet wet, I got a couple years under my belt, I could be ripping an umpire a new one, sticking up for my pitcher, negotiating on calls, you know, working him, as long as I never turned around. Because you didn't want anybody in the ballpark to know that you were ripping him a new one, okay? But now, you can't say a word. Since Quest Tech came out, since uh, they started evaluating umpires electronically, and these new umpire schools, like, you can't say a word. These guys think that they're above reproach. They actually throw gas on the fire yeah. in, in, in you know, tense situations. They're, they're assholes. I'm just going to tell you plain and simple, they're assholes. Uh, I got to the point in my career where, you know, when they combine the leagues, umpires, American and national, uh, you know, there was still the notion that, hey, uh, I've been blocking balls for you guys with nobody on base to protect you for going on 20 years now. Why are you giving some rookie who's been here 15 minutes two inches off the outside court? Like, I should literally, after my service to this game, and my protection of you all these years, you should have enough respect for me to make that rookie get the same service time I'm yet that I have before you give him the benefit of the doubt out there on the edges of the strike zone. I should only have to hit the white. Yeah. And that was my big contention at the end of my career was, are you kidding me? My strike zone is as big as everybody else's in the league. I've been blocking balls for you for a long time. And I can't even ask you about a call anymore because you're so sensitive that I'm not even facing you and I ask you about where a pitch is. You take off your mask and you come around in front of me because you're having a bad day and you start you start shit with me right there in front of everybody when nobody in the ballpark knew we were even having a conversation. So they started breaking all the rules. They started yeah. disrespecting players with tenure like myself. And I said, you know what? I've had enough. I remember, I remember the day, the day I, it all changed. Me. So I had a pretty decent uh, relationship with Eric, Eric Cooper. Mm-hmm. And Coop came up to me. I, I was, I, I had come out to start the game. I hadn't said hello to him. I'm throwing the ball back to the uh, the pitcher in the warmups, and he, he leans in as they do to get a look before the game starts. Say hello, and <laughs> you know. He says, Zonnie, how come you don't talk to me anymore? And I'm like, don't take it personally, Coop. I don't talk to any of you anymore. He's like, why is that? I said, does it make a difference? Mm-hmm. I said, does having, having polite conversation with you help me get pitches for my pitchers? Does it help me gain a better strike zone for myself when I'm hitting? I don't think so. You guys are still screwing me out there on the corners, and it doesn't matter who's pitching. I said, if Roger Clemens is on the mound, yeah, sure, I understand. I might have to come with two inches off the outside corner because he, he's earned it. Greg Maddox, Tommy Gladden, whatever. But Joe Blow, rookie, give me a break. Why in the world would I spend any of my gas on you guys when you're going to end up screwing me in the end? I'd rather just not say anything to you ever and leave it at that. That's the way I started, the way I started to approach it at the end of my career. And 
I even went to the point. I even went to the point to say, listen, I'm not blocking balls for you anymore. And they're like, well, why would you stop doing that? I said, because it doesn't do me any good. Why should I? Why should I suffer all of the punishment of blocking balls for you when it does me no good? It doesn't do my team any good. I'm like, and I and I got downright nasty with some of them and said, hey. You just made the list, buddy, and they're like, "What list is that?" I said, "The list of umpires that are going to wear every single ball in the dirt from now on with nobody on base." <laughs> and I started olaying. Them. I did. I started olaying them at the end of my career. I started letting these umpires wear wear ninety one mile an hour fastballs into the Oh my simply god! Simply because they were simply because they were cantankerous, pugnacious, irritating, and had no respect for the hierarchy of the game. And they were all worried about the bullshit Quest text, which, which put out false statistics anyway. They used to come to spring training every year and tell us that the umpires were getting 95% of the calls right in the game of baseball. And I'm like, dude, no. that's not even close. I catch every night, and you guys don't get 95% of the calls right in one inning, let alone a whole game. Yeah. Save those guys. Those aren't even close to right. 